What is up, my dudes? It's been a long time, but it's it's going well. I mean, look at it. It's it's almost empty here. Yeah, the move is going well, and we bought a new house. The new house has a huge basement, and so I can put all my cars in it, and I might even get a train table. I don't know. I'll have to see. But, but I'll do an update. A couple of days ago, I did get some. Yeah. I, I'd call it a mail call from my friend Harold. He's from my school, but he's my best friend. And he just decided to give me a box of cars. And he has very good stuff. Like, it is crazy. And I'm going to show them to you guys right now. All right, the first one, my favorite one, is the 100% Hot Wheels 118 scale BMW Z8. It is crazy, man. Wow, the details on it. It's almost an amazing condition, other than the crush right there. It is absolutely mint. Well, except right there, but it is crazy. All this for free, man. I mean... I mean, I really appreciate him. And I am just amazed. Love that silver. Just the details. You can see the, the brakes and stuff. I love these 100% Hot Wheels. I'm going to try to get the Ferrari ones. If I can get them cheap. Those are like $200 for those. Our next one is a Ertl. American Muscle 68 Cobra Jet. It is awesome. I love the blue paint. And this thing is mint. I mean, this thing is awesome, man. Has the uh, opening hood and, and doors. And, and that is just awesome. I love it. And I know Jason would love that. All right, next one is is a Hot Wheels. It's an American Classics 164 scale box of the old the Auburn, the Duesenberg, and the and the Cadillac. And I love how it has a turntable on it. Man, that purple on that one just and the detail, the purple interior. As well as the Auburn. These all have rubber tires, by the way. The red and the silver. The red interior is amazing. My favorite... Well, my favorite is the Duesenberg, but... It's my second favorite, the Cadillac. I love the green. It's just amazing. They all got headlight details. And, like, and the paint job, and... Just the luggage on the back is even detailed on the Duesenberg. Just amazing. Kind of looks like a, a car that Cruella de Vil would drive. It's amazing. Alright, hey, get these out of the way. We got car stuff. I mean, who remembers cars? Like, just, I, I loved it as a kid. A Buzz and Woody. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And next we got a meter. It's in, I mean, one of my favorite. I, well, these are the cards that just fell. Alright, next is, you may not expect, 1910 Blitz and Benz 220. 20 horsepower. Man, look at that thing. Thing is so old. Man, I have no idea what year this is from. I can't really find this anywhere. But if anybody knows about it, please contact me. It is amazing. I love it. it has a sticker that says Blitz and Benz on it. Me being German, I love this thing. Jesus. 
It doesn't even have a barcode on it. You can't even look it up on eBay. That's cool. Next is City Cruiser Collection. Old Mobile 442. 66. The black and the red interior. Well, red and tan. The bench seat. Well, the bucket seats. And the convertible. I like the convertible. Kind of gives me like an eerie vibe. Does it, does it to you? I don't know. I like the card art on the back. Next, we've got um this one. This is a China knockoff car, but hmm, whoever finds these in the box, like never do you find these in the box. Oh wait, that's a. Oh wait, I took it out and put it back in. That's a Maisto. It's interesting. It's in this one little van and the cartoon character on it. Try calling that number that come that number on the van, but it's not in service. So pretty cool. Next one is a Napa 2010 Rod Caps NHRA funny car. That is cool. I can't figure out what car this is. I can't really tell by the headlights, but that is cool. Like that. Alright, next is a, I don't know what scale this is, but it's a 1959 Cadillac Series 62 in blue with the red and tan interior. And that, just these Cadillacs are just beautiful. It looks like an Eldorado, but it's not. That is cool. Next is a M2 M2 semi truck. It's a fifty nine. Hold on, nineteen fifty nine Chevy Viking LCF in the trailer. I had this exact one, but except it's a car transporter and it's a Corvette with it. But mm, I like the trailer on this one. Hundred years of Chevrolet, man. Yeah. Got my personal favorite the, on it, the 95 Impala SS in, in that Chevelle and the Cortland Camaro. That is really cool. But sadly, this thing was dropped. I mean, only one hinge on it works. It's all broken. It's like someone dropped it. Dropped it. Alright, next, I don't know if Jason has this one. Yeah, Jason, if you, you're watching this, comment on the video if you had this. I think he got this in a mail call, but it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, I forgot what this one is. I honestly do. I think it's a 65... 97 Cobra. Love it. It's in the rear tail ID in detail. It's no headlight detail, but but and it is in mint condition. It comes in the highway thirty five in the box. There's Mustang on it. Might have been a highway thirty five one. I think you I think Jason didn't know what this was when he got it. So, um, so I think uh, this gives coverage of what this car was. And next to it, another Mustang is a 70 Boss 302 in white and the blue stripes. And the custom wheels on it. Sadly, it's missing the rear spoiler, but geez, it was dirty and I cleaned it up. It's very nice. All right, next, so old these these two are old M twos. Chrysler three hundred C fifty seven. Auto driver series. This one has a. The plastic is split, but I'm not opening this. So, I love the pearl. 
I cannot find this on eBay. It's teasing me with all kinds of colors and from the same series, but I can't find the the pearl and red interior. I just can't. All right, next, this one's my favorite. 1968 Pontiac Firebird Sprint with the blower on it. Jesus. This thing's amazing. It has, looks like Mickey Thompson's on it. Really nice. Next, we got a... I think this is 100% Hot Wheels as well, but... This is an, a Plymouth Superbird. It's amazing. It has the opening hood. It's amazing. Love the red, and you can see there's a roll cage and stuff all in it. That's cool. Next, another hot and 100% Hot Wheels. Forgot what this one is. It's a, I think it's a maybe a 58 Chevy. But it has the opening hood as well. It's beautiful. I love the blue paint and the drag wheels in the back. In the front. It's amazing. It has amazing detail on it. I don't know what these spots are on the, on the case. I really don't know, but it's beautiful. Next. So I got a couple of Nomads. But... Mm, Got a 57 Nomad in black. M2. His opening hood. Kind of an over-exaggerated looking one. Kind of like a Muscle Machines looking one. It's beautiful. Love the black. The red line and tires on them. Next is another M2. A 68 Mercury Cougar. XR7G. Has a detailed engine, opening hood, opening doors. It's black with a matte black top and the red interior. Love it. Yeah, it makes this video quick. This is going to take a while to upload. Jada Toys and Big Time Muscle 67 Camaro. I know Pete would love this at Old Man Diecast. It's pearl with the red stripe and the red top and the red interior. Man. And those wheels? I'm not really a big fan of the wheels. But I love the paint and the details on it. Just beautiful. Next is a I think um nineteen fifty six. Another nomad. And um the pearl and the black. Has a big scoop in the front, drag wheels, racing champions, Hot Rod Magazine. One of 19,998. Really nice. Next, uh, I got some Johnny Lightnings, which is amazing. This one is a 007. Traveling Daylights. This is, this is the ambulance. Red Crescent Ambulance. Pretty cool. Got rubber tires. And this thing is heavy. And fully metal. And casting. This thing's amazing. I love the detail on it. It's like this was bought at Goodwill for 99 cents. Pretty sure they sold them for like 3 bucks back then. Now they sell for like $10. Which is why I'm taking a break from Johnny Lightning. I'm only buying the old ones. Because people lowball on those. But... There's um, another Nomad. That's 57 Nomad. I thought this was the Bel Air. It says Bel Air on it, but it's a Nomad. Man, that chameleon green on it. Just, moi, just amazing. Has the classic wagon. Mississippi license plate on it. It says class of 57 on it. Really nice. I love the details on this. I have no idea if this is exaggerated uh, hmm. scale. I don't know. All right, next one's another Jada Toys. The Von Deutsch in the Garage. 57 Bel Air. I no, mean, it's a 56 Bel Air. The matte gray with the red and purple stripe. Mm -hmm. Kind of. I don't know what to call those, but it's just amazing. 
I love this thing. What's you know what's weird about this collection? When I got them right in the middle, and the I guess his dad shoved in nails right in the middle of the can of the package. You can see them in a lot of them. See this hole right there, 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 there. I don't know if you can see it right there, Major. Just on a lot of these, it's weird. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why he'd do that, but I don't know. But just amazing. I try not to focus on the hole because you can see directly through it. Well, in the Matchbox Cross America 50, 50th birthday series, the California one, the 55 Bel Air. I think I know there's a lot of Chevy in it, Chevys in this, like the like Bel Airs and Nomads. But I like this one. I'm gonna collect all 50 states, like it shows on there. It's amazing. I like that one. All right, now I'm now on the loose ones. Well, most of these loose ones I opened. I slightly regret, but not really. First one up, it, it's a green light. It was, the package was crushed, so I opened it. It's from 2011. 55 Chevy Chevelle SS. It's beautiful. And it came with the little lights and with it. Why can't I put it up? It's amazing. It has still it has the rubber tires and the, the full metal base. Man, I wish they'd bring those back. Oh wait, I think they did, but it has the opening hood on it. Man, I'll, there's a lot of Chevys in this collection. Like I just said, amazing. It has the card with it too. Sorry, that's my cat. I guess she's hungry right now, but... Alright, this one is interesting. I have no idea what company this is. It's another Nomad. 57. Snap-on. I'll show you the package that I opened it from. Because it had staple marks. It looks like this. I had no idea what this is from. It had stain on it and stuff. It had two staples in it and a hole in the middle. So I opened it, but Glow Matte Street Rod. I have no idea what company this is from. Crown Premiums. Let me know anybody who knows about this. I could not find anything on this. Well, I actually found some things, but didn't say what company this is from. Please comment in the video if you know what this is. And it's a not very good looking um, one. But this has an opening rear hood. I meant front hood. What's wrong with me today? The engine looks like an, maybe an L LS7 maybe inside of it. Pretty cool. Alright, next it was, a, it was a Christmas rods. I think it was. Let me check it. Holiday hot rods. Austin Healy, this thing is crazy looking. The orange and the gold wheat and gold PR5. No, gold five spoke, folks. The white cream interior with the gold base with the metal strip on it. It's kind of like a drag car. With the, the gold front end and the good front, gold. Golden grill and the gold supercharged engine. And the flames, just the flames are crazy. I like, really like that one. Next, it looks like this was played with. Um, it's a, well, it looks like it's from 2003. A Mitsubishi, looks like an, looks like an Evo 8, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong. Hmm, Evo fanboys. It's like a rally jungle it says on it. It's pretty cool. I don't think it'd be able to drift this all-wheel drive, but really cool. Another one I opened. The Johnny Lightning. It was. 
It was a, um, well, it was a Woody. Looks like a Willie's Woody. Really cool. I love the flames and the, mm, the blower on it. So it has plastic wheels, but full metal. This thing is heavy. Next one, Jason would be you know, would be excited to find this. I honestly don't know what this is from. It says Shelby on it. It's a collectible car. Jason, let me know if you know what this is. It doesn't see what company it's from. Looks like this is a whole series. I can't find anything about this. This is a Shelby Proud Home Edition, it says on the side. But Jesus, this thing is insane. The drag tires in the back, the Goodyear Eagles, the rear spoiler, and it opens like this. And it has a blower on it. Huge supercharged engine sticking right out the front. And the door's open as well. And keep in mind, this has some fully detailed interior. It's not colored or anything, but just, it looks like spot on. Can't get focused through there, but Jesus. This thing is amazing. Plastic and plastic bot. This thing is just crazy. Has a separate rear lights and the front lights. This thing is just full on detail. I don't know what this is from. And if they sold these, they didn't sell well because there's no other series I can find of that. All right, then these are two muscle machines. First one, 55, 55 Chevy in a, in, in a, in white. Oh my God. Man, this is so cool. Look at this. Love it. I opened two of these because they're basically falling out of the package. But geez, this is the old muscle machines, like 2000. No interior, but just amazing. Love the front detail and rear bit of detail. Pretty nice. And a 57 Chevy. Another Chevy. These are all almost all Chevys. And that metallic purple. I mean, why did I say purple? A metallic red. I am just off today, but this thing is god, god crazy. It's a huge blower on it compared to the 55 Chevy. This thing is absolutely spot on. I love this one. Full details and everything. And one last one. It is a... Um, it's a Maystone 1970 Corvette. Oh my god. The, what's wrong with this? Man, this thing is amazing. This and the Firestone rear tire and rear wheels on it. And front wheels. This thing is amazing. You got the exhaust pipes on the side. Got the T-top. Opening doors. And a removable, removable front hood. It's a plastic hood. But jeez, that chrome engine. This is blinding. This thing is amazing. Looks like this was played with. But it's in quite good condition since it was played with. It was going to give me a, mu a huge Mustang. It was in red. It was pretty cool. But it was missing a wheel. So I rejected that one. But yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Well, that is it for now. I will be taking a break from YouTube for another couple, oh god, it's at almost 30, 25 minutes, but I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube for a while until I get to move. I'm going to be moving on September 16th and go, go to my new house.
I'll get you, get you some future updates. I did get some other cars before this, but I just, this collection is just insane. I just wanted to showcase this one. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you like and subscribe in this video. And drop the shit and just, and share this with other, your friends and other collectors. Well, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.